Hello guys, welcome to Tech for Learners. In our previous video, we gone through how to install GUI and VNC server in Oracle Cloud Linux instance. In this video, we are gonna see how to access the Oracle Linux GUI through Tiger VNC server. For this, we will use the private key which we created using Putty Key Generator. If you don't know how to do that, please watch the previous video. To access our remote Linux server through VNC Viewer, we need to establish SSH tunnel between our PC and remote server host. Also, we can't directly use the .ppk format key. We will get an invalid format error if we use that. We need to convert the .ppk key to open SSH key. We will see all these steps in this video. Open command prompt and enter the following command. 5901 is the port we are gonna use to login in VNC Viewer application in our PC. In this command, OPC is the Oracle Linux username at replace the IP address of your remote Linux server. Also locate the private key. So now we are getting permissions for private keys to open error. That's because we kept this private key in D drive and the file is currently accessible to everyone. To fix this error, we have two options. One is to restrict the file permission to one particular user or keep the PPK file in C users under our username. We are gonna follow second option. I have copied the ppk file to C users folder under my user. Now we will use the key from C users folder. Let's see what happens now. Now we are not getting permissions to open error, but we are getting invalid format error as I mentioned earlier. We need to convert the ppk file to open SSH file using putty key generator. Open putty key generator and load the private key. Enter the passphrase. Now the key is loaded. Go to conversions menu, click export open SSH key and save it in the drive. Now use the new converted key to connect. We are getting the same permissions open error. As we did earlier, copy the new file to C users under our user folder. Now you will be able to connect. We need to enter the passphrase. Now SSH connection is established between our local system and Oracle Cloud Linux server. We need to install Tiger VNC Viewer desktop application for Windows. Search in Google and install it. It's an easy process. I have given the link in description. Open Tiger VNC Viewer and use localhost 5091 as URL to connect. Also, we need a password. This password is not the one we created during our key generation process. This password we have created as part of VNC server installation in Linux terminal. Please check our previous video if you forgot. But anyway, we kept the password same for both VNC server and public private keys. So I'm gonna use that. Enter the password, 
now we are able to access the remote Linux GUI through Tiger VNC server. Now we can connect to Linux server without PuTTY terminal. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my channel.